This is the Round Top Estate. We're in Wrightsville, Pennsylvania on the Susquehanna River. This mansion behind us is absolutely breathtaking. It's located on 136 private acres. There's also a giant lap pool with a pool cottage and then also a little chalet that's on the property, more for those romantic stays. But this is really the crown jewel behind us. We're so excited to jump into this tour. There's a lot of history that we'll get to later but one of the first things that you notice is the exterior. All that hand-picked stone that makes this place look like a castle. The way that it sits on the mountaintop at about 800 feet in elevation, you've got 360 degree views looking out over multiple towns and counties. The sunrises and the sunsets are breathtaking. And there's also a couple of things on this property that really make it special. One is a fully stocked pond. As you drive up the road, you'll see that coming in. There's also multiple hiking trails, so lots to do here. And then on top of that, there's some outdoor amenities right here at the house too. Yes, the house itself is incredible inside, but they've got some things outside, including a hot tub, sauna, and a cold plunge, which we've never seen before at an Airbnb, <laughs> and are really excited about that. Plus, we are one of the first people to stay here, so they'll have a few additional amenities, including a fire pit and some more outdoor furniture. So really, the the outdoor experience here is going to be incredible. And to top it all off from every piece and every amenity, you can see the incredible view, especially those porches. I can just imagine sitting on them and taking it in the entire time we're here. And as you can see, there's lots of windows, so you can see the view from the inside as well. And there are some surprises inside, including a floor that is only accessible by the elevator. So let's go check it out you guys will fall in love with it like we have. We're standing in probably our favorite room of the house, but before you get up to this main floor that extends the whole length of the house, mm -hmm. there is a ground floor that you enter into with a little entryway. There's a bedroom with kind of a sitting room and then a bathroom as well. And then there's a laundry room down there too. Then you come up the stairs up here and I guess we'll start on this end. All the way on this side behind us there is a sunroom that's got a TV, couch, table, seating area. It's the perfect spot to kind of gather, hang out, and play some games. Plus, it's surrounded in windows, which makes it so bright and beautiful and has immediate access out to those outdoor amenities. And then on either side of the sunroom, you've got these French doors that lead into this grand, great room. It is definitely the standout of this entire home because it is surrounded in these French doors to let in all of the light. It has a vaulted ceiling with beautiful beams and the furniture has just been beautifully picked and put together, making for the perfect place to gather and make memories. My favorite part of this room are the two fireplaces on either side. They're massive and they're actually a more vertical fireplace. So you actually have to put the wood in vertically rather than kind of making like a log cabin or something like that. But they work amazingly well. We had fires in them yesterday and it just heated this whole place up. So cozy. Mm -hmm. And then right above the front fireplace is a framed TV. And so it really keeps with the design and the aesthetic in here, having that artwork up on the TV the whole time. And then there are two hallways on either side of this living space that extend into the rest of the house. On on one side, you've got my favorite part, a little coffee bar with a fancy espresso machine. I've had a couple and they are wonderful. And then on the other side, you've got a bathroom and record player. And then beyond that is the dining room with a large 10 person dining table, some extra decorations and touches in there. Of course, windows to be able to dine with a view. And then there's also a fireplace in that room as well. And I absolutely love wood 
burning fireplaces. But another aspect is the chimneys that come out of the roof. Mm -hmm. That really adds to the look of this place on the outside. Just looks incredible with all the chimneys lining the roof. And then right down the hall from the dining room is the kitchen. It's kind of an interesting setup, mm -hmm. but it's got a lot of great amenities in it mm -hmm. with, of course, a double oven, giant stovetop, a fridge, lots of counter space, and it's perfect for cooking large meals for large groups of people here at the mansion. And then the floor keeps going with what we consider the master bedroom. It is also grand, has a little faux fireplace, framed TV, and an extra bed so lots of people can stay here. It's like a little day bed with a trundle, and then it's connected to a large bathroom with a double vanity, shower, and is the perfect spot to have access to this first floor during your stay. And then, continuing past that to the other side of this main floor is a huge surprise. So let's go check it out. So we actually had the honor of meeting the host of this property. It was so much fun. They came over, made us lattes, hung out, and we got to know a lot about them and their background and this property. And a unique thing about the owners of this property is they actually have Amish heritage. And there's even an Amish community not too far from here. So if you want something to do, you can go and explore, check it out and learn a lot. And so they left some goodies for us, including a whoopie pie and chicken pie and raw milk in the fridge for us, all of which were delicious. And those things are connected with the tradition from their background and it helped make this stay and experience more special and so they'll offer packages and knowledge to really enrich your stay plus I can tell they truly love hosting because of their attention to detail and care for this stunning historic home we are so thankful for you guys and we now have new friends <laughs> Please like this video and subscribe to our channel. Plus, tell us your favorite part of this house. There is so much to love. Come on. The big surprise is an indoor pool. Oh, I mean, look at this thing. It's so big. It's surrounded in this stone and all the windows. You may not be able to tell, but it's super deep on the bottom so you can dive into this pool. And the best part is that it is heated so you can use it year round and just enjoy. I love that you can sit here and see the views, swim and look at them. It is a really cool piece of this home, but we've got some more to show you. So let's go check out the rest. Now coming up the stairs to the third floor, there are three bedrooms and three bathrooms up here. This first bedroom has a king bed, a fireplace, TV right above, and then a couple little sitting areas in here. Right outside of it is a full bath, and then you've got a hallway that leads to two bedrooms. The one on the right actually has a kitchenette that you walk through first. There's a bathroom in there as well, and that bedroom has a king bed and a TV. Now the bedroom across from it is probably one of our other favorite bedrooms. It's got multiple windows that have that beautiful view to wake up to, a king bed, and then there's a really neat feature. The TV will actually, with the touch of a button, will come right down out of the ceiling so that you can sit there and watch a movie in bed. And then it's got a very beautiful bathroom connected to it. There is access out to a very large porch up here that sits right over top, another porch below it, and then there's a porch out back on the main floor as well. So lots of places to just go out and enjoy this view. So now let's go up to the fourth floor. Coming up these stairs to the fourth floor, we have a half bath and three bedrooms. This half bath is simple, clean, and maybe has the best view of any other bathroom in this house. Behind me down this hallway, the three bedrooms each have a queen bed. The first one has a little seating area as well as a floor to ceiling bookcase, which I love. The next one also has a bookcase, and then the last one has more windows with those views and a 
TV. And then right next to me is the elevator. So this extends all the way from the ground floor up to the floor above us. And the only way you can get there is riding this elevator up there. Basically, you can call the elevator to any floor that you're on and then go in it. Got a very antique feel to it. Yes, antique feel, but I love it. Shut the glass door. And then this number four goes up to the secret room. I'm so excited. <laughs> and it actually pops out on this, this side. side. The only floor that comes out on this side. excited to show you guys this. It's amazing. <laughs> this is the upper room. Probably if the great room's not your favorite room, <laughs> this is gonna be your favorite. Totally. The views up here are the best in the entire house. Brings you up four floors so that you can look out all the way around and see everything around. And to take it in on both sides, you can go out onto a little private deck and just hearing the different sounds from the trains down below, the boats that pass by on the river, kind of hearing the different towns and cities. It's just a special experience up here. And if you're a Christian, you'll probably recognize the reference of Upper Room, mm -hmm. why they named it this. It's like an experience up here. Inside this room, you've got a comfortable couch, seating area, and then a little cabinet that actually folds out into a bed. So this space can double as a bedroom for those who maybe have some kids or more adventurous folks staying with them. And honestly, it would be so fun to sleep up here because at night you can see the towns and all the lights glittering, which makes this spot really special. And they've got a little record player to have some music and lights with a great ambiance. I mean, it doesn't get better than this. It's a perfect place to bring a good book sit up here, read with the view, maybe have a cup of coffee mm -hmm. like Nikki likes. Yes. It's just, it's a special experience. And to top this mansion off, like we mentioned earlier, there's a lot of rich history and kind of some mysterious history with <laughs> this mansion. So we'll talk about that. But if you want to book a stay here, we'll leave a link in the description below. And now I'll share some cool details of how this place came to be. In the late 1800s, a local man named Robert Zanker used to row across this river and climb up on these rocks to take in the breathtaking views. While he did that, he envisioned building his dream home right here on top of the mountain. Not long after that, he purchased the property and completed his dream home that was the original middle section that was three stories high. It was believed that this was his summer home, but he actually turned it into a summer resort that became pretty famous and rooms were $1.50 a night. After Robert passed away in 1926, the home was passed through multiple different owners that made different additions and changes to the house itself. The first major change came in the 1930s when the interior was gutted and lots of the floor and the supports throughout the home were replaced with steel beams and concrete. After those owners passed the house on to the next, in the 1950s, there was a whole section added to the left side of the house that includes where the dining room is now. When new owners acquired the property in the 1960s, they actually turned this place into a bed and breakfast in the late 1980s to early 1990s. After that, it was purchased by the previous owner, which we don't know a ton about, but he was the one that added the two giant wings that jut off the middle section of the house, taking it from an already large place to an over 175 feet long house that really makes this place look like a castle. And those two wings are the pool and then the giant great room and sun room that sit off to either side. Now the current owners who just took over a few months ago have turned this into one of the most beautiful Airbnbs that we have seen. Inside and out, this place is absolutely stunning 
filled with different bits of history, luxurious amenities that make for a guaranteed incredible experience here on Round Top. Again, if you wanna book a stay here, we will leave a link in the description below. Please don't forget to like the video, subscribe to our channel, comment down below your favorite part of this mansion.